In 2014, there was little doubt that Manville's Brianna Turner was not only the best high school player in the state of Texas, but in the country as well. The 6'4 forward dominated the court her senior year to the tune of almost 21 points and 11 rebounds per contest. But Manville as a team was not considered the best in Texas. That distinction went to Duncanville, who was riding a 105 game winning streak going into their Class 5A title game with Manville. Thanks to Turner's 17 points and 17 boards, the Lady Mavericks made Duncanville have to start a new streak. Going into that game, we were definitely the underdogs and even like in the arena, I feel like we had a little small little Manville crowd, but the majority of people there were going for Duncanville. But then today, the like we knew like we could do it, even if no one else believed it. And uh, we went out and we executed and we won. And it was just a really exciting time for everybody. Brianna started all 154 games she possibly could during her high school career and she went on to play at Notre Dame before being picked by the Atlanta Dream in the first round of the 2019 WNBA Draft. She currently plays for the Phoenix Mercury and she says the competition she faced in Houston helped elevate her play. I would say Texas has got some of the most competitive high school basketball in the country. I mean, you see Duncanville had that huge winning streak, and obviously there's a lot of good teams in the Dallas, Houston, San Antonio area. So I think that uh, Houston basketball is really pivotal for uh, basketball moving forward. Later in 2014, Katie Safety Colin Wilder hoped he would finish his senior season by playing in a fourth consecutive state championship game. Wilder stepped onto the field for Katie as a freshman and never stepped off. He played a remarkable four straight 16 game seasons for a record total of 64 varsity games. Unheard of in high school football, but even more amazing for a player on a perennial power like Katie. Add to that, Wilder played through injuries to his shoulder and ankle to continue his remarkable streak. Honestly, it just comes down to Coach Gary Joseph giving me the opportunities and we had some really good teams. Uh, you know, and I was just very fortunate to be a part of them. It's really cool to look back on, look back on those teams with the players that we had, um, the staff that we had. Um, it just brings back great memories with all of those guys, all those people. Wilder won his last high school game 34-7 over Lake Travis in the 2015 championship game. But Colin doesn't harp on his career 61-3 win-loss record. Instead, when he travels down memory lane, it always leads back to the honor of playing Texas high school football. The open um, grass fields was just filled with kids, and I was one of those kids playing with, you know, the teammates I was playing with then. We were all sitting in those uh, in, that, in that grass field area watching Katie football growing up. So you you remember those things when you're walking out there, and it just makes you just enjoy every moment when you're out there. Um, it's special. It's so special. Wilder is currently a defensive analyst coach at Coastal Carolina, and he takes the lessons he learned at Katy with him every day at his new job. If I can influence kids, at least half of how coaches have influenced me, I mean, um, then I know I, I'm doing my job right. So that's the whole purpose of why, and I wouldn't have had this passion to, uh, to develop kids and help kids if I wasn't around Texas high school football.